Hello fellow 3D printers, this is Michael from Fungent Tiles, and today I want to talk to you about a really interesting material called PLA Meta. Uh, if you have checked out my printing settings guide, which will be available as a link in the comment, uh, you may have seen that I've recommended PLA Meta for certain parts, uh, specifically stage top 3D printed parts that are visible to the eye. Uh, this is a really interesting material, Ken turned me on to this and I have had great results in, uh, and, and I just want to talk to you about the properties and we, why you might want to consider purchasing PLA Meta for, for your use and where you can get it. So uh, first off, what the main draw of PLA Meta is, is that it has a lower melting point than standard PLA or PLA Plus. So its melting point is between 155 degrees Celsius and 170 degrees Celsius. Um, I personally print it around 208, uh, mostly because I'm using white, and white has uh, titanium dioxide is an additive that, that they use to turn it to white, so usually you have to print it a little bit hotter. Um, it'll print anywhere between 155 to 100, and, uh, you know, 100, 203, 204. Uh, you know, probably not a lot of reasons to print it much more over 210. And you can always run temp towers and calibrations on your side to find what that is. So because PLA Meta melts at a lower temperature, you can use it in high speed applications, right? The pro you know, a lot of the times, the problem with printing at high speeds on bamboos or vorons or on uh, clipper machines that have been input tuned, uh, the problem is melting the filament or the filament being uh, pushed through the heat break and the heat zone uh, so fast that the filament doesn't have time to actually melt properly down and you start having issues. So PLA Meta, takes care of that by being lower to lower to melt. So if it's lower to melt, it can be extruded faster. So users with bamboos, um, with vorons, with uh, rat rigs, or just highly tuned, you know, or, or users with like you know, high flow nozzles like a volcano, volcano hot ends, um, PLA Meta is really gonna be something that allows you to, uh, I, I can't begin to give you the settings or the speed settings or the, the max capabilities, but you will definitely get better extrusion and better, uh, higher throughput of your filament uh, through through that through that hot end, just based on the fact that it is it is easier to melt. One of the thing, uh, oh, so the next thing is just more more talking points on on PLA Meta. It has a thermal def uh, deformation point of fifty four point three degrees Celsius. Uh, its tensile force or KGF is nine to twelve. Quite frankly, I don't even really know what that means. But as I understand it or what I've read is that PLA Meta is 1.5 times more fluid than PLA or PLA Plus, and it's about one times more, one X times more impact resistant. So its material properties are even better than, say, PLA Plus uh, for, for most use cases. It has better drop resistance uh, for, for a PLA part. Um, and if you consider, uh, it has a 35% elongation of break, got a density of 1.24 grams per centimeter squared or what I mean, it's not squared that's three whatever that means and it has a water absorption rate of 0.5 percent which isn't that bad so one of the the next points of it having such a low temperature to melt is that if you are operating a print farm um, you know heating the nozzles takes energy so the less the less energy you have to put into heating the nozzles um, the better jo the better job you have of maintaining heat like your silicone hot sock doesn't have to work as hard and ultimately your electricity costs will be lower because you don't have to put as much energy into heating the nozzle as you would. And that might not make a ton of difference on one or two printers, but if you're operating more than 20 printers, 30 printers, 40 printers, those energy savings could be significant. PLA Meta also has an extremely high surface finish. So it flows better through the nozzle, means it clogs less and it has a higher surface finish quality. So me personally, in, in my testing, printing pieces in PLA versus PLA Meta, I am continually astounded at the quality difference that PLA Meta can make. So it is just a high visual quality uh, that, you can, uh, that, that you can actually see uh, through it. So you know, there's several reasons to consider uh, testing and use. Now some of the drawbacks uh, from what I can understand, and, and there's, there's only a few that I've seen, uh, because it's a relatively new material on the market, it is not available in the range of colors um, that PLA is. 
there are no uh, there are no multicolor PLA metafilaments available glow in the dark uh, on the market at least at this time that might change in the future uh, me personally I, I, I really like PLA white kind of problem with that is maybe you need to use a hard nozzle because white is typically uh, dyed light filaments are dyed with the titanium dioxide which can be abrasive to the nozzle um, over time and, and can destroy your nozzle so maybe consider using a hardened nozzle uh, another nozzle to consider using especially if you're not using uh, PLA meta in white is a CHT style nozzle so bond tech created the CHT type nozzle uh, they're very very inexpensive and you can get them on Aliexpress I will leave a link in the description uh, a CHT nozzle, and they've been talked about, they've been reviewed all over the net. Uh, I'm really just kind of hitting the high points here. They are high flow nozzles which allow for better extrusion because it has three chambers, as you can see here. The filament is split into all three of those uh, chambers. There's better surface contact. So just by switching this nozzle, whatever, not even changing filament, you can get better extrusion rates, right? You can get more consistent. Uh, especially if you're having problems with uh, under extrusion, this can be really good. But if you are tuning a printer like a clipper printer or a Voron or something that you really want to get uh, up to high speeds, these CHT nozzles can really help because it helps with that chief problem of the filament needing to be melted fast enough to keep up with the rates that you're doing. So even on a stock ender, putting one of these um, CHT nozzles and using and using um, PLA Meta, you will be able to increase the extrusion capabilities of that printer. Um, so I think that's a really interesting combination that you should look at. And you can get these relatively cheap uh, from AliExpress. I will, I, I, again, I'll leave this uh, description in the market, <coughs> or uh, in, uh, sorry, in the comments. So just to, uh, so just to kind of surmise, uh, and, and then uh, the next thing I want to, uh, before I surmise, sorry, the next thing I wanted to say is, is where to get it. <clears throat> so I really like this JO brand for multiple reasons. Uh, JO is, is a, a filament that people from the um, Discord channel had turned me on to quite some time ago. Uh, it's, and I was looking because you know it takes a lot of filament to make these stage top tables. I was looking for something that was you know better than like twenty dollars or you know twenty bucks a roll. I was using like Overture and and, and paying about twenty dollars a roll. So the AliExpress Avenue is is relatively inexpensive, and this JO brand is 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 supposedly a subsidiary of Sunlu, right? So I think they're just a a subsidiary or a different branding of Sunlu. But somehow, for some weird reason, through AliExpress getting JO, you can get the material um, at a much at, at a lower price than even through Sunlu's website. You know, you can check on Sunlu and, and you know, compare and do some comparison shopping. I'm just kind of giving you a shortcut to where I get it from. Uh, I'll leave this link in the description. But you want to uh, uh, go ahead and check these here for prices because these prices are actually really really good. So once uh, what I do is from this link, I just go ahead and hit that PLA shop now button. And it brings it up now and uh and, and then you're going to look for these uh matching categories so some of the time they'll have like 50 percent off you want to make sure that in the description it says pla meta right so you'll see jlpla uh this one is not uh this one is and you want to go ahead and look for something that shows pla meta so that's like a five roll um that isn't this is like a, a two roll set. This is like a another five roll set. Here's a ten roll set. So you can go ahead and pick that description because I'm trying to buy as bulk as a uh, as I possibly can. And I don't know why my conversion is off. Uh, but you'll notice when you uh, uh, th this for some reason my browser is being weird. This should this should show in your currency if your browser settings are right. So you'll notice that when you click that, it defaulted to color pet, pet G red black. You're gonna wanna make sure that you switch this to meta and the price might change a little bit, but that's, you know, that's fine. That's just, that's just what it is. So you're gonna wanna switch and make sure that when you actually add to cart or you need to do your buy now, that you have, that the color says PLA meta and whatever the color, uh, the color it is. Check your price, you know, come, jump around, stop around, make sure that you've got your price right. Then you can go ahead and hit buy now or add to cart. Uh, put your order in and then get that PLA meta.
Uh, one more talking point that I want to be sure just on the um, on the possible downsides of, of PLA meta is that it can be prone to warping at the corners. So watching that, maybe utilizing brim when necessary, skirt when necessary, possibly even glue stick or hairspray, uh, depending on the type of printer that you have or the build plate that you have, might make a lot of sense. So just watch the corner warping and, and you should be fine. Uh, I ha I'm able to print, I'm printing uh, rails in PLA meta, I'm printing tile locks in PLA meta and they've been really good, uh, play tiles in PLA meta, and I have printed uh, some frame locks in PLA meta and it has been a, a, a fantastic result, fantastic quality. I am nothing but impressed with A, the cost, which is probably, I, I've, not, I've, I've never bought it for more than $12 a roll. And the shipping times through AliExpress for me, five days. Some people have said seven days, some people have talked about four days. For, for me, I, I put the order in and I, I get my box in the mail five days later. Uh, and it's free shipping, so it's not, it's not that bad. But I am more than impressed with this material. I think cost-wise and finish-wise and material property-wise, it makes a lot of sense for the visible components on a stage top table, and you should really consider uh, trying it out and testing it. So check the description for uh, any, of these, uh, any of these links and locations, and, uh, and, and uh, go ahead and click uh, subscribe and like if you like this content, and I will talk to you guys later.